now if you notice uh when i close this thing it doesn't um, delete what's there okay so to fix the issue of clearing uh the text box we just use the same function so let's find the function and then what we do is when we are adding the hide which is when we are closing it we can as well get the input here so let's actually just move the declaration of the input above here so we can use it outside the if statement like this and then we can now copy this come here and then we're going to say dot value is equal to empty string like that so let's save that and let's give it a shot so if now i refresh the page and click add and i say food as a category and then when i hit save when i click back again it's empty and ready to go okay so this is pretty good now let's actually see how we can save into the database now the thing is uh, if we go to our database here and let's look at our categories table we only have id category and disabled so disabled will be zero category will be the name of the category and then id will be auto generated now instead of us going to because we have this ajax.php here this is what comes up this is what is pulled up when we click on save on that side so instead of us uh, doing this we're going to create a class a model in here that will actually do the creating of our category for us but before we do that let's see if we can retrieve this information here uh, that we've sent so collect data and then send the data here so let's see here handle result okay so on handle result we should be sure that uh, we are receiving what we actually want so let me try that save food save let me refresh that food save okay so we're getting that in the data uh, thing there so that's fine okay so we are actually good to go here so what i will do now because i promised that we're going to use the json format instead of this so let's stick with that so i'm going to remove this part here so then we get our data from there and then right before this we are going to do a json dot stringify like that data so whatever the data is we're just going to stringify it into a json but before we do that because this data could be just a string like uh, what we are getting from there so instead what we do i think we can leave this as it is we can just make sure that the data here by this point is always an object right so i am going to say data is equal to something like this this will make sure that uh, the default value is an empty object right so let me come back here uh send data since we are sending it like this let's change this and send it as an object so i will say variable data is equal to and then i'll paste that like that so that we assign the data there first but then we send it as an object so i could create another object and say ver obj uh, dot maybe let's say data is equal to data like that okay but another way to create an object is to yep. wait a minute here 
yeah no i i needed to actually declare it so one way to create an object is to say something like variable obj is equal to and then you open and close the brackets and then here you will put your key and then full colon and then the value like so now if you notice this is as good as doing this something like this so you see oh sorry about that so as you can see this is an object we're just assigning it to that so if we want since it's just, this is just one value that we are sending we can easily just cut this and put it in there that is equal to sending an object so the only thing is we have to create a key so let's just make everything easy and call the key data and then we can uh, assign that to the variable data like so so data is the key name and the data will be the variable there so let's see if we still get uh, so this is just for in case we don't supply anything there it will still work as an empty object so that we don't get an error when we try to stringify uh, the empty object so let's see how well we are going to receive that data so I'll refresh and click here and go for food as usual and hit save and right there I will see that uh, well, I'm not getting an alert because I disabled it so let's try one more time Oop, sorry there my monitor keeps uh, freezing and switching off okay so food save and then we get an empty array okay now the reason we're getting an empty array is because here we are echoing our post variable which we did not define here as a form so it would definitely be empty instead we want to get the raw data so we will use this method instead and then json decode to make it an actual array so let's try that oh there we go refresh add food and then hit save so then we get exactly the same thing we get data food just like we had gotten uh, previously okay so everything seems to be working out fine here up to this point we are getting what we want now in order to allow this to work well we have to use a create a model so let's go into models and create a new file and i will save this so the same way we saved user.class.php but here we are going to say category category.class.php something like that all right so this is just a class we're going to create so i'll go with php tags and then i will say class by the way you can use small letters for classes it still works so class um wait category class category so let's do that okay good right there we have a class which is good now what i want is to create a new db here so that i can uh, access something but let's create a few methods here first of all so we're going to use function so if we don't declare whether it's public or private it will automatically be uh, public but if you want you can add the public keyword there exclusively or explicitly so function so what are we going to do now the there are several functions we need first of all to save to save a category or maybe we can say create that sounds more reasonable and then uh, we need a few more so one is to create a category the other is to delete the other is to edit so create edit and then we will have one for delete like that okay so in all of these we're going to need the database obviously so let's begin with this now I'm going to assume that we will be sent some data here in order to create whatever I want to create so I will put a variable there for data maybe I will use the capital 
letters like that just to show that this is the important bit and here we will also have data and here data okay so like that we are good to go now let's create a db so i will say database get instance oh i think i i've seen it where was that oh get instance like so goody so we'll assign this to db and say db is equal to database get instance so we're getting the instance of the database class there and then as usual for db is just db save and db read at the end of the day so we will have db is it save or write see the problem is i use different uh, versions of this for every uh, tutorial so i end up getting confused it would be nice to actually have a simple convention so it's write it's read and write okay so good so we'll use write here because we are not expecting a result uh, some some results there we are writing to the database and of course we will write the query there and because i know we will have some values i will obviously have an array to give those values there and that should actually suffice so inside data if you notice very well we have only one item which is because data is an array and it gives us uh let's try that again let's see if it's still working there okay so data is an array which has a memory location called data where we have our category there and it's an array so uh, that's good there to know so at this point actually let me come back here and let me not use arrays i like objects better so i will use i'll leave that true there so that it's an object and then come back here so in here uh, we will let's put this to a variable and say category is equal to data and then inside data we have it's an array but wait a minute let's confirm this before we do anything let's try it again okay so here we have a standard object so it's an object uh, with those items in there so what we will do is say category since it's an object we'll use an arrow to access data and then in there oh actually that is the value so data is the category in there so we're good to go 